Hello, my name is Stephanie Blissmoon. I'm the collections curator at the Lincoln Museum and Cultural Center, and I'm here in our lovely artifact room, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Moses Rittenhouse and the school gardens that he founded. Uh, at the turn of the 20th century, businessman and philanthropist Moses Rittenhouse funded several projects in his hometown of Lincoln, including the Rittenhouse School, founded in 1890. There, rural children were educated in nature study and natural history and learned to grow fruits, vegetables, and flowers. The first school gardens appeared on the property in 1907. After this beautiful image in the book, and I can't remember the exact caption underneath it, but it's like 30 children and they're all taking a break. It said something like a break from their labors and they're all sitting there with pieces of watermelon um, eating it and it's the most endearing sweet picture. It was large scale, so it was like hundreds, hundreds of plants. It wasn't just a, a small, cute little garden where it was like, you know, they grew just a few crops of each. I think one year I remember reading something like 150 or 200 celery plants that year that the students tended. And so it was a much more large scale operation than, than um, what we would think of as a school garden today. One year, students performed a noteworthy experiment. The Ontario Agricultural College supplied students with seeds of 13 varieties of tomatoes to determine from a canner's and grower's standpoint which were the best. Students planted 480 tomatoes. And they also grew things like celery, tomatoes like I had mentioned, all kinds of things. And I think it's one of those things as of like uh, the old saying, you know, give somebody a fish or however that saying goes, that um, giving them these skills that they can take home, take with them to their farm, take with them um, and, and keep with them throughout their life. But what I particular, particularly like about school gardening is that what I like about gardening in general, leaving out even the school gardening, is that gardening means more than just growing plants. It can be a metaphor for different things, so you can look at it from a philosophical standpoint. It can be about instilling virtues and different virtues in people, and that's especially um, a trend that you see in the Victorian era, era where um, they saw gardening not just as growing plants, but it was about instilling um, patriotism, good citizenship, about um, making more obedient children, um, make, uh, making cleaner cities, beautification was such a big thing at the time, and of course just being able to feed people. Thank you very much for watching this short video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you're interested in school gardening or any of the other um, videos that we're going to be putting out in the next little while, make sure to contact the museum, I'll be happy to, uh, to bring out some artifacts and let you uh, take a look at them. Thank you very much.